All right, I'm here in Lakeland, Florida, and uh, here's a uh, set of colony of bees that's uh, living in this, I guess it's a big oak tree, and um, customer says they've been here several years. Uh, so I'm about to set up a trap out, and uh, I think there's a couple of alternate uh, back entrances that I'm going to have to seal up. Uh, that being one of them, according to the customer, and I think, well, it's kind of hard to see with the lighting, but there's a big opening right there. I think I saw a couple of them going in and out. So, uh, if there's a bunch of openings up in the top of this, you know, higher up in this tree, I could have big problems. Uh, but this tree looks rather solid. Up, up in that area, so crossing my fingers. Who knows what's going on with that opening. I'll have to look closer at it when I get on my ladder. All right. So I've set up this trap out. Um, I had to use towels and things like that to stuff up the extra space behind there and then uh, I used uh, supposedly this insect repellent pest block. <laughs> it, it works with varying degree, uh, degrees of uh, success so anyhow uh, they're getting interested in my hive. and. Uh, you see, I had to seal up these other areas on the other sides. I still don't know if that's a good enough seal of steel wool. But um, I'm going to bring supplies for them tomorrow. It's a small little nuke I removed from a meter, a uh, medium nuke. They're just barely getting off the ground. They need help, so I'm going to actually uh, use their queen and... Uh, workers what little they have and combine them with this hive tomorrow and I know that's not a hundred percent but it usually works it's better than them taking the time to raise a queen both hives need each other they one needs population and the other one needs a queen These girls are pretty testy.
day two. Uh, there's still obviously a lot of them still on the trap cone and I gotta see if they're figuring out how to get back in or not. Uh, you can see a lot of them of course are in my hive and on it. So I'm about to give them supplies right now and uh, they are a bit testy, I'm not gonna lie. Look, I don't know how it's possible, but the bees are uh, on my hive and in my hive instead of uh, all over the trap cone in their original entrance. Man, they have a sense of smell and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to believe. I know. It's a conspiracy theory. But I'm probably actually going to have to put a super on these girls in the next day or two. Um, I think they'll need some more room, but they have plenty of comb to start building and all that, and I'm gonna give them Supplies, you know sugar water to start uh, building at least initially I'm gonna feed them